Hi guys and welcome to another kit review. So today as you can see we're having a look at a kit from Bronco and it is Bronco's German V1 Feisler Flying Bomb. Kit number CB35058 135th scale and this kit came out in 2008. Um, along with this kit in 2008 they also um, released a piloted version which was uh, kit number CB35059 and also a trainer version, which um, the Germans never produced, which has two copies on it. So um, Germany did produce some piloted versions of the V1 flying bomb late in the war, 1944. Uh, famously, Hanno Reich was the only person to actually fly one of these successfully. Some of their other test pilots, unfortunately, didn't make it. Because of the uh, V1's high stalling speed, when they came in to land, they crashed and killed themselves. So need to, needless to say, this pilot version of V1 never really carried on. So this is, as I said, this is Bronco's version of the V1. TACOM, ha TACOM has recently just released um, their version, which is a uh, see-through version. So you can actually see the wing spars internals for the um, v1 and also um, tacom has released the v1 with a launch ramp which is uh i believe two-thirds the length of the normal launch ramp of course they are quite expensive um, this particular one cost me 16 dollars australian normal retail price for this one is around the 24 25 dollar mark so as you can see the box art just shows the v1 in flight and it is being caught up with by a Spitfire which is one of the normal aircraft that try to intercept the V1s over England um, they also use Typhoons and later on they used um, Meteors to try and catch these things so let's have a look at the rest of the box on the side it does have cartograph decals which are purely all the um, Warning labels, etc. V1s never carried the national markings, so if you see one in a museum that's painted with national markings or in a photograph, that's completely wrong. On the other side, just two views of the V1. Side views, of course. So let's have a look and see what's in the box. So there isn't really a great deal to this kit. So you have three bags of sprues. This is the transport trolley. These are the wings, which um, early on they were metal. Later on, when materials became short, they started to make them in uh, plywood. And the body of the V1. Instructions, of course. Oop, that's upside down. Instructions, of course. And the decal sheet. So. Give me a second and I'll open up the bags and we'll have a look at the instruction sheet and the decals to start with. So let's have a look at the instructions. So you've got a brief history of the V1 on the front cover. It does say here over 10,500 V1s were launched during the war. 9,500 were launched uh, from France and the Low Countries on England. Another 2,500 or thereabouts were launched at um, Antwerp and other sites in Belgium after the D-Day landing. And Included in that is around about 800 to 1200. They're not sure. V1s were actually air launched from Heinkel bombers uh, flying out of Norway during the war. They weren't that effective. Only about two and a half thousand, luckily, only about two and a half thousand of those that were launched against England, etc., actually managed to hit their targets. All right, so let's have a look overleaf. And overleaf is your color call outs, Gun Sangyo. Hobby color, Humbrol and Tamiya. Fairly basic colors in this kit. 
your sprue layout as you can see very basic only three sprues and very simple construction and then you start with building the nose the little propeller on the front which operated the uh, arming mechanism and also the flight controls that one is actually workable then of course you've got your pulse jet engine and the fuselage going together there are color call outs throughout then you've got your wings going on so the wings early on were metal but later on in the war they changed them to plywood then you've got your little transport trolley and that's probably more complex or almost as complex as constructing the v1 itself and it's a great way to display this kit and then um, overleaf you've got how it all fits together this diagram here is your uh, decal layout for all the warning labels etc for the operational crew and then you have two suggested color schemes option one upper surface dark green light blue and option two which is exactly the same so there isn't much difference between the uh, options as far as the color is concerned it's almost exactly the same and that's the instructions so it is a simple kit to build let's have a look at the decals so this covers all three of the v1 models that uh, bronco released in 2008 and it is all of the warning labels that you would find on a v1 and that's really nicely done i'll, I'll give you a still of that anyway So let's have a look at the sprues and we'll start off with this one this one as you can see is the main body of the v1 that's the nose nose cone these are the shutters which um, cut off the air intermittently which operated the pulse jet pulse jet of course is that bit tails and that is your little spinning propeller so let's have a closer look so really nice panel line detail and bolt detail on the pulse jet and the rudder of the v1 there's a little bit of flow plastic flow that i can see in the tails but that shouldn't show up once it's pa um, painted these are your shutters these are closed so you can't see inside there's nothing to see inside the pulse jet anyway that's your nose cone little tiny propeller that is the pin which holds the propeller so that would be the trickiest part is getting that pin through there and gluing it on that without actually sticking the propeller don't worry about the fact that there's a part missing there that's part of the sprue um, that they removed when they packed this it's not a part missing but really nice fine detail beautiful panel detail maybe a little bit of flash in certain parts around the edges but nothing serious so that's your main body of the V1. next brew we'll look at is this one very simple this of course is your wings now there's very little to be seen as far as panel lines on the wings which is the way it was you can see some flow marks in the plastic but i can't feel them so they won't show up once this is painted all right so very basic simple sprue that one And the last sprue is this one, which is your transport trolley and the wheels and the framework and the tow bar. Really 
simple, straightforward. So there isn't much to this kit. Um, there's probably almost as many parts on this particular sprue as the rest of the V1. All right, so that's your transport trolley. So that brings us to the end of this review. So that is Bronco's V1 Flying Bomb, CV35058. Came out in 2008, so it has been around for a while, but it is in 135th scale, so kind of nice um, add-on to your um, shelf, alongside your 35th scale tanks and figures, etc. Very simple kit to construct. I can't see anyone having a major drama putting this one together. Even the painting itself is fairly straightforward. So, hope you've got something from this review. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your likes, subscriptions, and, and uh, your comments. Always appreciated. And um, as usual, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you later.